Aha, the infamous JY-MCU cheap Bluetooth breakout board that is giving just about everybody that I have seen on the Arduino and processing forums a fit. Now they are still for $9 on eBay. Um, it comes with the cable and the header. Um, there was some confusion about a couple of the pins that don't have uh, male leads on them. Um, it was very hard to find any schematics. Um, here's what I've learned after three weeks of trying to get this implemented into my Arduino and processing sketches. Um, VCC uh, can be 5 volt. It's not a 3.3 .3 volt. Ground is self-explanatory. Uh, TXD, I've measured it, is a 3.3 .3 logic level, but it reads it fine. RX, you do not need a uh, serial voltage step down to 3.3. .3. It does it on the board. So you can run it off your Arduino 5 volt digital pins right to the breakout board. At least this one anyway, and this one is version 1.0. 0, 0.5 um, so that takes care of that what I could find out about the key and the state pins top and bottom the key seems to be a it's pin 34 um, on the board itself and it, it has something to do with uploading the firmware to the board it's like a bootstrap line State is if it's waiting, if it's connected to a device or not. It'll go high and low every 250 milliseconds. Uh, if it stays high, then you've got a connection. So you can monitor that on an interrupt line and know if, uh, if the device was connected. So here's what I've been trying to do. I've got a three-axis magnetometer um, app. Um, pretty sophisticated. I'm using a Honeywell uh, three-axis uh, magnetometer. And this is all going to go in a project box on an Arduino Nano. I'm developing on a Mega. I've got some TX lights and COM status LEDs. Uh, the sensor is hooked to 3.3 volts in the I2C bus uh, and I'm not going to bore you with that and what I was trying to do is uh, I want the user to be able to use either a USB cable or on the fly be able to switch to Bluetooth without interference, without reprogramming, without changing any pins or flipping any switches. Totally software. One of the biggest problems I had was a lot of examples in, involved using the hardware pins 0 and 1 uh, RX and TX lines. Um, if you plan on having this communicating over USB, not only to program it, but if you have a processing sketch that's talking back and forth to the Arduino over a USB COM port, it's going to crash. It's going to hose it up. So I decided the way to go was software serial. This way I can write, I can, I can implement this into the serial protocols that I've written, which involve handshaking, headers on bytes, uh, things of that nature. So I can have the board through software switch over, shut down the hardware serial, even if this is still plugged in. As long as it has external power, um, I can switch over on the fly to Bluetooth, change the COM port in my app, and I may have to do a soft reset, which I can do in software too. But anyway, that's that much of it. Um,
I'm going to go to Terra Term now and uh, show you a simple sketch with this as software serial connected and show you how you can program the board with AT commands which seems to be a big issue too. Uh, there's only a handful of commands that it will um, accept um, and I'll go over those but I've been able to change the COM port reset the pin, change the name it has the stock name of Linvor L-I-N-V-O-R and I've been able to change that to something more friendly that I can recognize so we'll pick up on a uh, screen streamer and we'll take a look at the Arduino code and send some AT commands First I'll start with this sketch here. Um, this just simply um, allows me to communicate <coughs> with the Bluetooth breakout board using the serial monitor and uh, the Arduino IDE. Um, I did not write this code. Um, it says here that it was modified by Tom go and based off Mikhail Hart's example uh, modified July 10th 2012 by Peter Tominsky anyway um, you include your software serial library and you have to check your boards to see which one which digital pins support software serial RX. TX does not seem to be a problem but different boards support uh, the received data. I've set mine up on 10 and 9 respectively. I'm using a Mega 2560 uh, so my TX is on 10 I mean RX sorry is on 10 my TX is on 9 this is just somewhere to store the command, it's a string. Um, here we're beginning a standard uh, USB serial connection at 9600. Uh, in the console it'll echo type AT commands. Then you start your software serial at 9600 which is the default baud rate of the uh, JYMCU modem, uh, Bluetooth modem, and then down here it uh, is checking to see if the uh, software serial port's available. If it is, it grabs the characters and builds a string, and then echoes that to the uh, serial monitor, and this seemed to be important right here, this, this delay in between writes and reads. A 10 millisecond delay um, for whatever reason or data seems to get lost in the loop somewhere. So let's try it out. Tools. I'm on COM3. That's my hardware USB serial connection. So I'm going to go to serial monitor and in all caps AT I should get a response from the radio okay okay so that's working I was able to use this example to then um, communicate with or without the USB connection to another computer over a Bluetooth radio uh, dongle. Um, in this code it gives you the uh, AT commands that, that it'll handle and there's not a whole lot. Uh, the version, which we could try that real quick. You can change the name, you can change the pin. Here's the values for the different baud rates. 
I'll go back just for a second and do a I'll just copy it AT version copy and it should give us version 1.05 uh, 1.5. Now, like I, I have changed the name of this one. I guess the firmware has this uh, Linvor um, in firmware. I guess that cannot be changed. So anyway, I can close this. So I took I took this example and wrote this sketch that uses the same handshaking protocols that my magnetometer application does. So it sends out a handshake signal. Um, when that is responded, basically a, a RTS-CTS type of setup, then it'll send data over. And it won't send any more data over until it gets another request for data. And I'm doing this on a tablet PC, and what I have found too is these cheap um, Bluetooth dongles, uh, they seem not to work very well with uh, Vista or Windows 7. There's a driver issue. There's a problem getting the virtual COM ports set up and the serial services. But in XP, I've had a lot of success. So. Um, if you're trying this on a Vista or a Windows 7 uh, desktop, uh, don't get too frustrated if you can't get this to work, uh, this next part with your dongle. Um, it's more than likely uh, just the quality of the dongle that you're using and the, and the compatibility with your operating system. Uh, that being said, I have ordered a uh, a more expensive dongle to do these experiments in Windows 7. So next we'll pick up with the example sketch here uh, communicating between the Arduino, the Bluetooth radio, and a laptop running Windows XP. Okay, so this is running Windows XP and here's one of those cheap dongles I was talking about. I do have another one on the way that should work with Windows 7. And this has been my frustration for three weeks now. Um, and the fact that I was trying to use hardware serial lines instead of software serial. So I'm running TerraTerm. And the port that I'm, uh, the radio is broadcasting on uh, that it's paired up with is COM7. Over here. I've got the radio in standby mode waiting for a command. It's paired with the tablet PC. It's hooked to RX is hooked to pin 10, TX is hooked to pin 9, power and ground. That's basically it. Uh, I'm using the USB only for power because I don't have a 9 volt battery handy, but I, there is no serial calls, so there's, there is no serial USB communication. Um, I'm simply using the cable right now for power. Um, if I had a 9 volt battery, I could unplug it and this would still work. So, as I was showing you before, this sketch here, when I open COM7, this sketch will start sending the uh, handshaking signal out over Bluetooth. And if I respond with my RTS CTS method, um, it'll turn that LED off and echo back some data that I've set up just two strings but it could be whatever data that you wanted so here I'm going to choose serial come seven when I hit OK we'll start getting handshake signals In this case, it's a capital A. Let me enlarge this a little bit. Bring up the broadcast. OK. 
command. And this thing does not seem to like the carriage returns in the console, so I'll turn that off. Select COM7. Now I'm going to respond with a capital A. Right there. When I hit submit, um, I should get some data back from the radio. Again, this is a handshake signal coming in saying I'm ready for data. Now I'm going to send it a command, a capital A back saying, okay, give me data. Submit. And there you go. Now it is waiting. It is made first contact, and that's just the way my serial uh, algorithm is written. So every time I hit submit, it'll give me the same sample of data. And that's pretty much what I'm doing in my application. I'm, I'm sampling uh, raw data, uh, tagging it with headers, and sending it every time processing requests it. So every time I submit, the request for information, RTS, basically, it's giving me a stream back. And I don't know if I don't know if I have enough of a, of a delay in there to see the LED blink or not. I do. While it's sending data, so as you can see, I've got two-way communication totally wireless using software serial and a cheap Bluetooth dongle and like I said the problem I had before was uh, trying to use that dongle on Windows 7 it just the drivers do not job with it um, you're gonna need a better dongle that supports Windows 7 uh, that, that's just the bottom line uh, but if you don't mind using XP, uh, you can go with these cheaper dongles. And I will put a link uh, to my website. It's actually uh, our group's research website. Uh, and it's got some of my other Arduino projects on there as well. And I'll get this example code up there. Thanks. Subscribe.